What's going on guys, DVJ is here and today I have a nice video. We're gonna talk about Grant Holloway, gonna watch a video um, of him doing the first hurdle. We're also gonna watch him doing um, nine hurdles in practice, it's kind of a race. And we're gonna analyze everything. Um, super helpful tips for everybody who wants to become a hurdler, who is interested in Grant Holloway and track and field. So let's hop into it. Here we go. Okay, so um, the first thing we're gonna do is watch over a practice video of Grant Holloway um, where he is attacking the first hurdle. It's a really nice video. I would say the first time we're gonna just watch it in a normal flow and after I'm gonna show a little bit and talk a little bit about the technique and what I see. All right. Okay, that's the first hurdle. Let's watch the whole video again. All right, let's come to the technical aspects of this video. You don't really see the block start, but it also doesn't really matter um, because I actually wanna concentrate more on how he is attacking the hurdle, how he's going into the hurdle, um, what is his last step doing, what, is, what are his arms doing, um, and yeah. All right, first step out of the blocks, second step out of the blocks. As you can also see here on the, on the track, they actually have marks on the track where I'm supposed to step, which is, um, quite cool in my opinion nice facility for sure okay now he's attacking the hurdle let's go over let's actually see how he's starting so he's quite low in the beginning but he's actually pretty tall i would say he's already straightening up and looking to the hurdle between the third and the fourth step here you can see that he's moving his view to the hurdle um, that's nice. How he is attacking the hurdle. He's very aggressive, he's very tall. He is maybe a little bit over the mark, but it also doesn't matter. How is he attacking the hurdle? Okay, so his arms are on his body. Pretty, pretty tight on his body, I would say. Okay, there's a lot there's a lot going on let's concentrate first on the arms let's concentrate first on the right arm uh, on this arm. all right so he's going into the hurdle and the right arm is going to the lead leg okay so his left leg is the lead leg okay so it's going to the front to the lead leg and this afterwards coming down the trail leg is coming under the under the um, right arm as you can see here he's like taking the trail leg um under his and or through or under his arm you guys know what i mean when you see it here in the video and then he's just coming back into the normal running position of his right arm okay let's do the same thing with the left arm what is he doing with the left arm so he's going into the hurdle and the left arm is not doing much. I would say it is here quite stable in this picture. And then when he goes into the hurdle, the left arm comes a little bit forward as well. Comes a little bit forward as well. Okay, let's move forward with the legs. The leg is fast and comes to the ground very, very quickly. Also, when he's taking off from here, I see this like bended knee which is then extending and snapping back to the ground. You guys gonna see it here, it's a bended knee and then it's extended and then it snaps back to the ground. And this snapping back to the ground is actually the reason why, um, why the trailer comes through. That's a very important part. All right, okay, I think that's enough for the first hurdle. Let's actually see how he is running um, in this practice over 10 hurdles because he's also doing it during the practice. It's um, actually nine hurdles. All right. Okay, so he's attacking the first hurdle. And the technique should be similar every hurdle now, of course. <laughs> All right, this is the first hurdle. Okay, his arms are very tight to his body, especially his left arm is the only thing the left arm does is actually being very, very 
tight to his body and maybe coming a little bit forward into the hurdle. Yeah, that's really nice. And then the, the lead leg comes down very quickly and very aggressively. That's nice. Okay, let's check out his left arm again. The left arm is doing exactly the same what we just talked about. Okay, let's see the second hurdle. Same. Yeah, that's a really nice technique. Very tall also in between the hurdles. Um, bringing the lead leg down as fast is very, very nice and very, very beneficial because um, it gives you a very fast, like con or you're coming back to the ground. So you're regaining the contact to the ground. And um, when you're in the air, you can't accelerate. You can't sprint when you're in the air. You gonna, you're basically gonna hold your speed. Um, but you wanna be fast and you wanna accelerate um, in between the hurdles. And that's why it's very important to have like a stable and nice technique over the hurdles but you also want to be fast in between with like frequent and short steps. For Grant Holloway, it's actually very interesting because he is basically too tall to hurdle. No, he's of course not too tall as you can see because he just uh, raised the world record in a time of a 7.32. Um, so as a college athlete, I don't know if he actually is pro now, but yeah, a really, really, really nice. I would say let's watch through the whole video just in the first rep and then we're gonna analyze one of my videos all right let's go do you see how he's very very fast with his arms very fast with his arm and his right arm especially is almost punching a little bit down into the hurdle let's watch that again that's the start okay let's watch the race again but on a different perspective Alright, thank you very much for watching this whole video. I hope it helped you and uh, I hope you got some clues, some techniques, maybe some, some feedback um, also for your own hurdling. And uh, if you like the video, leave a comment. If you have any anything to comment or give me feedback or whatever, the comment section is always welcome for you guys. So let me know what you think and I hope you're gonna see us in the next video. Bye bye.